humanity uh, Putting truth in these lines Why they busy feeding lies When you got that tunnel vision Gotta open up your eyes Wake up and go to sleep Man, I'm praying all times And to my guys, ain't no other side This for my brothers, I'ma pray with y'all shine Lock the door Go ahead, lock the door Lock the door Go ahead, lock the door Yeah, you already know Depending on the lessons, some people eat, some people eat, some people learn, but the game is going to send you a big, big. Gee, when communicating with hardcore gang members, is it is it's important to understand the approach in the circumstance situation? How do you approach it? Well, any 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 uh any situation, um, you got to approach it respect. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you're doing, you gotta be respectful, homie. You know, cause they gonna buy up off of your fire. If you come in there on some tough shit, then they automatically going tough too. Cause don't nobody wanna feel like you punking them. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta automatically be respectful, homie. And you gotta know what you're talking about, and you gotta be able to stand on whatever you're saying. You are. Uh... What is your purpose today now that you you feel like you got all this other stuff behind you? You, you know what I mean? You, king of low riding, let's, that's hands down. You done what you done in the game, baby. You put your stamp in there, but now you found a new purpose. You know, of course, we want to give praise. We lost your son, Beeper, right? Yeah, yeah. And that and that was impactful at that moment and uh, it, it very hurtful. It was a hurtful moment. That shit still hurt today, homie. And, and now you got organizations built on his name. Yeah. Where we going? Yeah, I got I got a nonprofit built on his name. Frederick James Saves Junior Family Against Fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? So you know I'm trying to enlighten all these youngsters out here about the dangers. You know what I'm saying? Of fentanyl, and then, you know what I'm saying? That one pill can be your last pill. That one pill can kill you. You know, because you know all these youngsters think they. They think just like we thought. We thought we was young and invincible. You know what I'm saying? We thought we was invincible when we was young, and it won't happen to us. It ain't gonna happen to me. You know what I'm saying? So I want to just let these youngsters know that yeah, it definitely can happen to you. It can happen to any damn body. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so you know I'm pushing that. And you know my other purpose, my other purpose is our people, man. You know what I'm saying? I just feel obligated. You know what I'm saying? I really been dedicated the rest of my life, man, to trying to, you know what I'm saying, bring our people together and help these youngsters out in these streets, man, to try to keep them from going the routes that we went, man, because it's way different from when we took them routes. Yeah, we, we got a lot days, of way, It's way rougher yeah. than when we took them routes and they take them right now. And at the end of the day, man, it don't make no fucking sense for us to be killing each other, man. What the hell up? When I, when I just really thought about that shit, man, it was like, why the fuck about when I want to do something to you, when I want to hurt you, just because you live on a different street or you wearing a different color, man? That's the most stupidest shit on earth. You know what I'm saying? This game banging shit is stupid, man. And I've been there, done that. You know what I'm saying? I started when I was 11 years old. You know what I'm saying? Claiming Midtown. In elementary fucking school, man. You know, so I, you know, I know. You know what I'm saying? Crippin started in 69, homie. It's been 53 motherfucking years, man. And ain't nobody won. Ain't nobody won. You know what I'm the saying? The streets is undefeated. Yeah. Everybody else is losses. Ain't Everybody. nobody won. All we done did is lost homies, man. Lost good brothers on all sides, man. For what? 
this bullshit we call gang man. I be telling these youngsters this shit is nothing. All you doing is ruining your life and ruining other people's lives, man. At the end of the day, man, you know what I'm saying? This shit got to come to a halt. You know what I'm saying? But these other people, they depend on us being separated. They depend on us fooling with each other because if we ever come together, homie, can't nothing stop us, man. Nothing and nobody can stop us, man. We don't prove in football, baseball, track and field, boxing, man, and everything. Man, nothing can stop us if we come together, man. Not a damn thing on no level. On no level, period. If we come together as one people, man, and love and respect each other, man. Ain't nothing finna stop us, man. But everybody depends on us because every race is getting rich off of us. We spend all money with everybody but us. Everybody get all money but us, man. All money don't even circulate one time. We got all these others in our neighborhoods with all these fucking businesses, but ain't nobody that look like us working none of these fucking businesses. Well, I say we can't be black and proud in niggas too, G. No, no, we gotta be black and proud. That's it. Oh, um, the nigga shit, they can leave that, they can get taken. Yeah, because that I was back. created in America anyway. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, G, I appreciate this opportunity to sit you know, down we with you. We foundational black Americans, man. There you go. And, Without a doubt. And anytime I can get you on video, it's always profound and enlightening and and uh, but I want to say this before we leave out. There's also a new drug out there. Well, it's not new. They took cocaine and mixed it with some that, 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 that enzyme, and they mixing it now, which is an opiate. It's now, right now, most powerful opiate uh, mixture out there that's taking people out. It just I don't know how long it's been out, but it just started. At the end of the day, man, they gonna keep on making shit to bring us down. That's all it is, is to try to bring us down. You know what I'm saying? They only care. The only only reason they even care about that motherfucking uh, crystal shit, uh, what that, uh... Fentanyl. No, not the fentanyl. The crystal. The fentanyl and the crystal meth is because a lot of white people use it. Right. And it destroyed, it destroyed white, more than white places in white America. Right. You go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, motherfuckers, Motherfuckers bent over in the middle of the street. And that's the only reason they they start sweating that. Because folks, because as long as white folks as you wasn't using it, they wasn't tripping it. Just like when the cocaine. As long as white folks was just sniffing it, it was cool. But when they crack, when they start smoking crack, that's when it became a motherfucking problem. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, don't none of us need to be using it, man. White, black, Asian, Mexican. Don't none of us need to be using no motherfucking drugs, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. I didn't have my share, you know what I'm saying, of selling drugs, man. And I made a promise to myself and to God, man, I would never do that shit again. Because at the time, I didn't see what it was doing to our people. I didn't see what it was doing There to was our no precedence at first. You know there what was I'm nothing saying? to see until you know, the aftermath. That's right, because we was doing it in the beginning. Right. right. So I didn't know it was going to ruin families, ruin lives, have people losing their jobs, their homes, their kids, losing every fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? If I could take that back, hell yeah, I would take it back. I wouldn't have never did that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not heartless. And I'm just, a gangster, but I'm not heartless. And just to set the record, a lot of the people that y'all looked up to and thought they was balling out of troll, they first got their chance where, G? Over here. They came up right there you on spring and saying? bought whatever they bought you know, and went to here. wherever they went to. My, my, you know, man. And that's including the Kiki D's. And the man, you know, we've been, man, shit. we was them <laughs> niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bragging, but we was them niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad I'm not dead and I'm glad I'm not dead no more. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm a black man. I love is. my people and you know what I'm saying? Want the best for my people. Well, how great is the black and brown unity now at this point in uh, Compton, G? Man, it ain't great because you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? The brown, they got their own fucking problems, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know that we they got they got blacks in Mexico that been there 500 years, yes. man. 
and they just got put on the census this year from 500 fucking years. They got Mexican, they in Mexico, the light skinned Mexicans think they better than the darker skinned Mexicans. They got their own problems. That's why a lot of them already come over here prejudiced. Because they prejudice over there against Mexicans, their own people that they got a lighter skin against. They they got they they need they gotta clean they think we trip off dark skin, light skin. They way worse than what the mud we do. They really got a prejudice against each other. Because you know the light skin and what's think they white. I'm gonna give them one person to go read. This guy named Vascar Yanga. Vascar Yanga was a freedom fighter for Mexico. He was an African, black African. He fought for y'all freedom and y'all rights in the revolution. So go read it, Vascar Yanga. Oh, well, they need to. I forgot his name, but they, they shit, they had a black president. Yeah. The second uh, was, president uh, was black. Maximilian You know Maximilian. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So we got big, deep black roots in Mexico, man. You know what I'm saying? There's deep black roots in all over. This is South America. You know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Central America. Man, all over the Caribbean. Man, man listen, man. We only, the, we only the minority in America. We the majority over the world. Blacks is the majority over the whole fucking world. There's more blacks in this world than any other race. You know what I'm saying? Because any race that you want to... Any race... Hey, let me hit you right back. I'll hit you right back. Because any other race, you know what I'm saying? Damn near it, every Spanish race got black in it, man. I don't care what the Puerto Rican, Cuban, uh, hey, every at, race. At, anywhere you go, man, through South America, through Central America, you know, man, it's everywhere, man. Look at so Brazil. So would it be fair to say we got more in common than we do not in common? Yeah, exactly. Look at Brazil. Yes, the biggest you know, population, the biggest population of black people is probably outside the United States. Well, I'm talking about. Well, besides Africa, of course, yeah, yeah. it's Brazil. It's Africa, Brazil, then the United States. Man, it's man, Brazil, man, hey, um, we got more in common than we don't. Than they we got like 100 million in, in Brazil. We got more in common than we don't. You know what I'm saying? And to me, homie, every, every, everybody, man, I ain't got no prejudice against nobody, man. I just don't like the motherfuckers that don't like me. You don't like me, okay, fuck you too. Other than that, I don't got a problem with you. I'm going to welcome you with open arms. But I'm not kissing your ass knowing you don't like me. I'm not that type of brother. God's still working on me. He ain't finished. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going. I'm not no kumbaya type of motherfucker, man. I'm still a gangster. You know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I'm saying? But I want peace. You know what I'm saying? And I want all people to come together. That being said, Professor Melly Bell, G, tell them where they can find you. You can find me at uh, OGENT TV on YouTube. OGENT TV on YouTube. Books, hats, t shirts. Man, if y'all got to listen, man, I got the best urban books you're going to ever read. Satisfaction guarantee. Money back if you don't like them. You know what I'm saying? I got, the, got this one of my shirts, Compton CPT shirt. My OG Apparel, you can find it at OGPublishingApparel.com, OGPublishingApparel.com, you know what I'm saying, come holler at your boy, check me out, man, get them books, <clears throat> I got five books out right now. I'm in now. the G-Code, I'm in the G-Code. Oh, that G-Code ain't no joke, <laughs> hey. That G-Code ain't no joke, man. I'm in the G-Code, we was at the football yeah. game. <laughs> hey, that G-Code, well, hey, man. Get them books. There it is. Lock the door. Man, lock that motherfucking door. Cali Miners, baby. <laughs> Proof of grind all the time. Music money. Got a dollar sign. I'm a street nigga, streets fuck with me I'ma keep pushing products till the fans get me It's Guap off top, Diamond Cordier That nigga wall won't give a pro bitch the time of day They see me climbing, they see me shining That's hard work, proof of grinding Go big, grind now, nigga, play 
later, what can I say? 